The Caribbean island of Anguilla, located a quick 20 minute boat ride from St. Martin, is known as a premier spot for yachting, luxurious world-class resorts, and dreamy white sand beaches. The pristine turquoise waters are a thing of fantasy, but they're not just pretty to look at. They're also home to mind-blowingly fresh seafood like snapper, wahoo, and lots of lobster. I dove in headfirst to get a taste at Anguilla's Festival Del Mar, a local tradition that celebrates all the ocean has to offer. In Anguilla, it's almost dizzying trying to decipher the bright blue sea from the sky. If there weren't white sand to separate the horizon, I wouldn't know up from down. But after taking a deeper look, I found that Anguilla is not only fantastic for yachting, but boat racing as well. There's a strong local history of boat building that dates back to post-plantation days, where commuting workers from Anguilla would race home from the Dominican Republic on their uniquely styled, hand-built schooners. Life in Anguilla still revolves around the ocean, and a trip wouldn't be complete without a journey to the surrounding keys, like Sandy Island or Skilly Key, where you can splash and snorkel or rock out to reggae in a rum shack, with a rum punch in hand, of course. But let's get back to my favorite part. You guessed it, the food. They take their seafood seriously in Anguilla. I tried all sorts of local delicacies like cowfish, which look like puffer fish, but is nowhere near as poisonous as fugu and tastes a lot like snapper. Plus wahoo, mahi-mahi, conch stew, and lobster on lobster on lobster. Seriously, all this is some of the best seafood I've ever had. Decided with the crowd, so good. I mean, get real. The crustaceans here are the size of your head. Legit. <laughs> Cooks brush those bad boys in butter, garlic, and turmeric and serve them along with another local staple, Johnny Cakes, a savory, freshly fried fritter that will have carb fanatics swooning. It's exciting to know that even in a Caribbean tax haven, you can still have authentic travel experiences, like learning tricks from local chefs or being asked to swim in the Festival Del Mar's annual race with an Anguillan. I couldn't possibly think of a better way to work off all that food. Someday I hope I get to return to this magical place. If not for the race, then for the seafood. And definitely a rum punch or two.